Hey y'all, welcome to the Jetty Rocks. I just want to take this time and the reason I'm making this video is just to thank each and every one of y'all for all the support you've given me and this channel and my family throughout this year and throughout the beginning of this channel since we started in 2017, November of 2017. So I just want to take this time and say thank you guys very much. We really appreciate you all. Without you all's support and the fact that you guys watch these videos and comment in the comment section and give all the subscriptions, the thumbs up, we couldn't be doing this, and I thank you guys very, very much from the bottom of my heart. I say it every video that I appreciate each and every one of you all, and to me, you guys are like my family, and I really mean it, guys. I really appreciate you all, and thank you. I really want to say thank you. And also, it is the holiday season, so I want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas, and I hope you guys had an absolutely amazing Thanksgiving with your families and friends. With Christmas coming up, I wish you guys a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I hope everybody has a really good holiday and a really good new year with this year going forward. Real quick, I just want to mention a couple uh, brands that I do have some partnerships with. I know you guys, David Dunleavy shirts, these are some new shirts he just sent me. They're absolutely amazing. Absolutely love these shirts. I say it all the time. They dry very fast. They're very cooling in the sun. They're just a really cool shirt and they got some really cool designs. This is his new Redfish one. Absolutely awesome shirt. I really like it. So if you guys are interested in any of the David Dunleavy products, please go down in the description area of this video and any description area of any of my videos, and you can see the links for David Dunleavy. Also, my bottom sweeper jigs. You guys know I've been a partner with them for a while. Absolutely love these jigs. I don't go sheep's head fishing without them. They are my favorite this time of year. That's about all I use when I'm sheep's head fishing inshore. When I offshore sheep's head fish, I use live shrimp, and I use a regular old fish finder rig. I just got a new partner that I partnered with, and that is Beyond Braid. They sent me a couple spools to try out, and I absolutely love this braid. I've been using Power Pro since Power Pro came out. I've been a Power Pro fan for a very long time, but I have had some issues with that line, and I'm now trans transitioning over to Beyond Braid. And I started doing that even before I became partners with them. So I really like this product. It's an awesome product. It's probably one of the best casting lines I've ever used, and that is not a joke. It is a really good casting line. It's very strong. I haven't lost a fish yet on this line due to line failure. So I can't, you know, been using it for a couple months, and I absolutely love this line. So if you guys are interested in Beyond Braid, that link is also in the bottom description area at the bottom of this video. But with Beyond Braid, if you plug in Jetty, J-E-T-T-I-E, -E, when you go to beyondbraid.com, you will get a discount. So make sure you guys check that out. And also, since it is Christmas time, and you guys do know I have the jettyrocks.com website where we get these hats, I don't have a whole lot of hats left. I have just a few hats left because they sell really quick. But since it's the end of the year, I'm going to go ahead and put those hats on sale. They're normally $17. But you can pick them up right now for $10 plus shipping. So if you guys are interested in these hats, you want to pick up one up for $10, go for it. At jettyrocks.com. The link to that will be in the description of this video as well. So you can check that out. And I got something else I want to talk to you guys about. A lot of you know that I went through captain school and I'm waiting now to get my captain's license. There's a lot of stuff you got to go through in order to get your license. Twit cards and all that stuff. Right now I'm waiting for my Twit card to come back so I can have that. So I can send that out with my application for my license. As soon as I get all that done, then I'll be up and running doing charters. And that will also be on my jettyrocks.com website. And I'll let you guys know when that happens. But hopefully that will be pretty soon. I'm hoping to be up and running hopefully by March of next year. So that is my plan. And I'll have that up on the website so you can go in, schedule your day when you want to go and whatnot. So we'll have that. But also, guys... Uh, idea I've been throwing around in my head. I want you guys opinion on how would you guys like or feel about if I did some hand tied rigs, you know, some of my bottom fishing rigs that I do my flat lining rigs for kingfish, my shark rigs and making some rigs like my free line rigs the kind of setups that I use because a lot of people ask me all the time. How do I do that? How do I make that? Da, 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 da. So I just kind of have an idea. I make up some of these rigs and I can put them up for sale on my website. Tell me what you guys think about that. If you think that's a cool idea or nah, you just go to the store and make your own. Because I know a lot of you make your own stuff, but there's a lot of people that don't make their own stuff. They go to the store and buy pre-rigged stuff. So if you're one of those people that like to buy pre-rigged things, 
let me know how you feel about that and I'll start making some and I'll put them out on the website and see how it goes. And also, all y'all that came over to support me on the Patreon page, thank you guys very much. I appreciate y'all. I have like 17 Patreons right now and I appreciate you guys very much. I appreciate everybody. I appreciate all of y'all for subscribing to this channel, for just being a part of this channel. You do not have to go to Patreon. You don't, that's just something. If someone wants to do that, wants to help out with the channel, they can, but it is not required. You still will have YouTube for free. I still make the same identical content. I do do a little upload some things I don't think is I'm going to put out on YouTube. I put out on there. But for the most part, it's pretty much the same videos. So it's basically just for people who want to come over and support the channel and put $5 a month. That's totally up to you all. But that's what that's there for if you want to do it. So that being said, I thank each and every one of you all very much for watching this video and listening to all this stuff I had to say. And I hope you guys got a little bit out of it. If you want to, you know, go check out some of the sponsors that I have or partnerships I have. You know, Bomb Sweeper, Beyond Braid, David Dunleavy. That gives you the opportunity to go do that. Maybe some of y'all forgot that I was partnered with them because I don't mention every video, but it is in the description area of every video. So with all this being said, I'm going to leave you guys with some crabbing footage, some stone crabbing footage. We didn't get a lot. But you guys really seem to like the stone crabbing videos, whether I get a lot of stone crabs or not. You guys really seem to like it. It definitely has its fan base. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season with your families. Please stay safe, and we'll be seeing you all in the next one. Tight lines, y'all. All right, y'all. Well, we just came back in from fishing, so we're going to come and check the stone crab traps. Hopefully, we have some. We'll see. I'm not real confident about this area I just put them in here just do a little prospect so we'll just see hopefully we have a few but I'm really not counting on a lot to be honest with you the first trap here they've been sitting out for 11 days so we'll see what happens Let's see what we got here. Oh. This sucker's heavy. Alright. Let's see here. Oh, let's see what we got here. A lot of growth. Oh, a lot of growth. If we ain't got any crabs, I'll just drop them back and we'll move them to a new place. Some other day. Oh, I got crabs in here. I got at least one, I think. Right, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I got a couple of them in there, guys. Someone checked them, though. Someone's already checked my traps. Took my uh, zip tie off, but we do got crabs. We got three at least and a catfish. But somebody decided they wanted to chuck them for me. All right. Oh, let me get this thing out. He's making a mess. Look at a mess that thing just made, man. Stupid catfish. All right. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got a two and seven eighths. That's definite. That's not. All right, so we got one keeper claw. All right, and he can go back. So we got one there. He almost got me. Oh, come on. Yeah, we'll wait for him then. We'll get this guy out. Oh, come on. There we 
go. Uh, I don't think this one's legal. Yes, it is. All right, that's legal. So we got two on this one. All right. Broke off good. Broke off good. Crab gets to go live for another day. Uh, no, that's not legal. That one is. So we'll take that one. A nice claw. Crab gets to go back. All right. I'll come back and rebate these another time. All right. All right, we got four claws out of the first trap, but that catfish made a mess. I mean, I am messed up now. Made a mess of the boat, made a mess of me. Plus, someone had cut the zip tie off it, so somebody had ran that trap, but I still had crabs in it. So, let's go check this next one and see what we got. All right, trap number two. I know this one's been moved. It was way over here. Yeah, so... We'll see. We'll see. It's definitely been moved. I guess this just comes with the territory anymore. The way this uh, world is, people just are going to mess with your stuff regardless. A lot of crappy people out here anymore. And just so you know, if you're the type of person that messes with people's traps and does that, you are a low life. Just so you know. Uh, can't tell if there's one in here or not. The little blue crab. I don't think there was one in here. So I'm going to go up here and move this one. back to where it was closer to where that trap was because there's still plenty of bait in there so we'll see what happens all right trap number three In case you guys haven't figured it out, stone crabbing is a very dirty job. There's a blue crab in there, but there is no stone crabs. Nope. No stone crabs. All right. Trap number four. It'd be nice if one of these was loaded. I don't know. crabs in this one either nope well that wasn't that great so I'm gonna come out here I'll let these sit for another couple days I moved a little bit, couple of them see if they do a little bit better where I moved them because I still got plenty of bait in there and it still stinks really bad which is what you want for a 
stone crabs, really stinky bait. So I let them sit for a couple more days. I come back out and check them and move them. But we end up with four claws. So that brings our total to 43, 43 claws. So we're getting closer and closer to that 100, 100 claw goal. But we're gonna have to find some better grounds here pretty soon and we're not gonna make it because it's uh, coming up to the first of the year and we only got till May.